I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Now, right now, you're turning up on Mr. Hold up, Lil John. I got it. You now turned up with MrTelleferro.com, baby. Yeah. I've noticed this trend, Alfred Telleferro, Mr. Telleferro TV. Um, I've noticed this trend and I want to comment on it. Listen, I have no problem. I guess you can consider me part of the media industry. I don't consider that. I just try to do dope stuff for people. I try to do dope interviews and put them in the atmosphere. When you talk Charlemagne the God, and I have no problems bigging up him because he's somebody that I salute his hustle and his grind. You want to know something about Charlemagne the God? And honestly, this was said. It was, I was watching a brilliant it is podcast about a month and a half ago. Him and Andrew Schultz, his co-host, was talking. And Andrew told him something that was so real. He was like, you want to know why people get upset with you? Because your opinion can't be bought. And they get upset about that because they want your opinion to be bought. People want you to, you know, side with them. And one thing about Charlemagne is he's going to try to keep it as real as possible. His opinion can't be bought by any artist. Even though he might be cool with you, he might rock with you, and he might think your tape is dope. But if you do something stupid, you a donkey. And he will call you out on that. This Beanie Siegel interview is nothing short of that. You remember Charlemagne worked in Philadelphia radio for, for quite some time. You know, and, 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 and the fact that it's one thing with Birdman, even though that was a historic moment and they never even got the interview off. Even though Charlemagne kept it all the way 100 in a few, the two minutes that the interview did run for or before the interview or whatever. It's one thing to keep it real with Birdman. Charlemagne doesn't have a relationship with Birdman. Charlemagne worked in the Philly area. He knows Beanie Siegel. The fact that he kept it real with him on camera got to be commended because I know a thousand radio personalities. I ain't going to say nobody's name to be exact. Who was sugar-coated with Beanie, not keep it real with him, call him, not call him a hater. Charlemagne called him a hater to his face. He told Beanie, he told Birdman, why you ain't pull up on Trick Daddy or Ross like that? Period. Like, I don't know anybody who keeps it realer than him in, in the music world and his radio stuff with more to lose. You would think with the whole I Heart connection, they'll have him trained to not talk like that. But he has so much to lose. His job is put on that platform. Their interviews do tens of thousands of views times what anybody else is doing in the game right now. With that being said, his, 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 his opinion can't be bought. And that has made all the differences. That's why he's having so much success. And that's what I aspire to be. That's why I don't only do certain things. That's why you can't catch me doing anything corny. Because my opinion can't be bought. And I take pride in that. And I know I got work to do. But salute to Charlemagne. And that's why he's so impactful to the culture today. Alfred Telefero, Miss Telefero TV. What do y'all think about Charlemagne? I ain't going to call him the God. I don't call anybody the God. I only got one God. What do y'all think about him? Comment your responses below. I got an Alfred Telefair. You're currently tuning in to Miss Telefair TV. Thank y'all for the love, time, and support. Salute. I'm out. Hey, first and foremost, I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I would love if you watch other videos while you're on my YouTube channel. Now, while you're here, people ask me all the time, how can you support Mr. Telefero? Well, if you want to support me in my future endeavors, the first thing I want you to do is subscribe to my channel. If you subscribe to my channel, you get all my content first. Your subscribe goes a long way. I get to understand my demographics, understand who support me, who got something out this video. So first things first, a subscribe will go a long ways. Next, if you really rock with me, donate a dollar to my GoFundMe. I have a GoFundMe link in the description. If you really want to support me, just a dollar. Showing me that a dollar and some good wishes will go a long way. If you want to support me and you want to help me with my travels, I got a lot of things coming up, but I got to get them travel fees there. I got to find a way to get there. So that can help me financially if you really want to go there. Also, a word of encouragement. Thank you. Whatever it is, talk to me in my comment box below. Comment on this video, like, subscribe, do whatever you got to do this video. I got to thank you for your time. I don't take it for granted. My name is Mr. Telefero. Now, if you subscribe, help, donate, do whatever, you can see more videos like this, more new exclusive content. I got a lot on the way. Trust me. Thank you. It's Mr. Telefero.com.